Hi Kirby fans, so today I'm going to show you how to check the armature on your Kirby. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any coming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Don't forget everything I use in the video today, there will be links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products, so make sure you check those out. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be showing you how to test your armature on your Kirby and check it's actually working properly. Now you're going to have to strip the Kirby down for this, so what we'll do is we'll jump into it, I'll have it partially stripped down, we'll go probably go a bit of a time lapse and, and then I'll show you how to test it. So what we'll do, let's get straight to it. Right, so we're going to start off, we've got it stripped down, we've got the motor out. And if you don't know how to do this, I will put a link to a video showing you how to get down to this part. So what we're going to do is just strip this for a time lapse. So you're going to need a 9mm spanner. And uh, if you look, I have grained this down so it will fit in there perfectly. Okay. Most 9mm spanners are a little bit chunkier and they won't actually go in there. So make sure you grind a 9mm spanner down just both sides off and it will fit in there nice and snug unless you can get a thin one. So we'll start stripping it down. So what you're gonna do before you start resistance, and we're going to turn it down to the lowest setting possible, which on this one is 200. Okay, and you can test it's working, just touch the ends together. Okay, so you know it's working. Then you're going to need a marker pen to mark your commutator or armature, and you're going to need your armature. Now we're going to do three tests and I haven't got a voice, so all I've done is I've got one of these, drilled a hole in, I'm just gonna stand it on top of there, like so. Okay, now you can do, if you haven't got a, a voice or one of those, or anything to make it stand up, you can just do it lying down. So the first test, what we're gonna do, and it's called a 180 test, and you're literally touching it from this bar here to one here. So you just look on the top, so you mark it for your 180 test. So I say we've marked it there, and we're gonna test it there and there. And we're gonna work our way all the way around. Now what you should have is around 1.2 to 1.4 with these armatures. If you get a spike, and then obviously you've got broken or burnt out wires. If you get a dip, you've got a short in between them, okay? And then the second test we're going to do is bar to bar. So again, if you're getting 1.2, 1.4, so they're pretty close, then it's pretty good. I have marked this because I've already tested this. Um, and you'll see the marks and you'll see why they're there as we go through the video. And then the final test is you're going to test from your bar to here. Now you shouldn't get any continuity between there, if you're getting any continuity between there, then obviously there's something definitely wrong with the armature. But basically, if you get a spike between these, then again, you've got a broken wire. If you get a dip, then you've got a short in between there. Now you can run a standing off through these and try and clean them out and see if it cures that short, but nine times out of 10, it's down here somewhere where it's shorting out. Um, and I'm not brave enough to try and weld it with two live wires like I've seen on the internet. I'm not brave enough to do that. It's just easier just to change the commutator or armature. So first up, what I'm gonna do is a 180 test. So you're literally gonna mark opposite to these starting points. So you're gonna mark 180 from there, which is there. It can rub this off after, so I'll actually mark it on there. So I know where I started. 
Now we shouldn't get any fluctuations, these should measure exactly the same. If we don't get anything, then that's the class as a short or a burnt wire in between it. So go there, and there, and we'll work our way around. Oops. So I'll move that so you can actually see it. Start there. So you can see from the fluctuation on that, there's definitely um, a spike. So there's definitely a burnt through wire. So let's see if we can narrow it down. Once with this bar to bar test, this will tell us if there's a short in between here and all of the bars. So what I've done is I've marked it. So I'll start where I've marked it again. Let's go bar to bar. 1.3. That's one point. There, so that has got damage. Three plates so far, and then we're roughly back. is damaged badly so not as well so it's damaged between those two and between these two and there and there and that's how you test your commentator so if you're getting major spikes then it could be a broken wire or burnt through wire so that could be anywhere amongst here there is one more test and I'll show you that one as well Okay, and now the final test is there should be no continuity between there and there. And let's see. There's nothing. So what we've got is either broken wires somewhere here and there, but to repair that I might as well just get a new and put it in. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you found it really informative and it literally shows you how to check your armature on your G3, G4, straight up to the Centria or even the earlier models. Um, it's a simple test and it will diagnose if you're getting sparks from your Kirby and it's arcing, that's the first place you wanna check to see if there's any issues, any shorting or any burnt out wires. But as you see in the video, you literally need a multimeter and obviously your armature and a marker pen just to mark where you started from. If you've got a voice, yes, it would be a lot easier. I didn't have a voice, so I just used a little plastic pot to put it on, and that sort of worked for me. Now don't forget, everything I use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products, so make sure you check those out. For those of you new to the channel, if you find you getting value out of this content, and contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is a quick 20 bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one.